Welcome back to WMMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, and welcome to another edition of Blast from the Past, our segment where we look at some of the pioneering ladies of mixed martial arts. For today's edition, we'll be looking at Satoko Shinashi. When discussing sm uh, smaller weight women MMA champions, you often hear names like Ayaka Hamasaki, Sahi Ham, and Michelle Watershin. One name you may not have heard of is Satoko Princess Shinashi, an early and still active pioneer of the atom weight and microweight divisions. Standing a diminutive 4 feet 10 inches, 147 centimeters tall, one wouldn't be blamed for looking at the 44-year-old Shinashi and dismissing the thought of her as a fighter, but in fact, at one time, she held one of the longest winning streaks in the history of the women's divisions. Starting judo at age 15, Shinashi practiced through her high school and college years. Still wanting to compete in something, a friend introduced her to Sambo, and eventually another friend introduced her to mixed martial arts. Satoko made her pro debut at all-women's event Axe Volume 2 on December 26, 2001 in Tokyo. She would face Aya Koyama, defeating her by armbar submission in the first round. From there, the princess became a monster, going on a streak of 21 wins broken only by two draws before finally facing defeat for the first time. In December 2002, Shinashi would meet rival Hisei Watanabe in the Smack Girl Japan Cup 2002 Grand Final. As in most of her fights, Shinashi gave up size to her opponent, so sought to take the fight to the ground to avoid the striking of KO, KO artist Watanabe, but was hindered by the ground time limits of Smack Girl's rules. She persevered, however, submitting Watanabe early in the second round with a heel hook. Shinashi and Watanabe would face each other again in 2006 at Deep 25th Impact. The vacant lightweight, now atom weight, title was on the line. After a back-and-forth ground battle where both combatants threatened with submissions, the fight returned to the feet where Watanabe landed a thunderous right hand, sending Shinashi to the mat unconscious. Shinashi faced defeat for the first time and in devastating fashion. Shinashi recovered quickly, however, picking up an armbar win the next month and going on another win streak, picking up another seven straight wins before dropping a majority decision to Mai Ichii in May 2008. Stoko fought once more that year, retiring on a win in order to have a child. MMA retirements, however, much like deaths in comic books, never seemed to be permanent as Satoko returned after six years in 2014 picking up a TKO win in the first round. Since returning in 2014, Shinashi has amassed a 9-2 record and fought every year except for 2020 when the pandemic made training difficult. Shinashi stated in a recent interview, quote, I hope I can continue as long as I can because all the fighters who used to fight in my time, they're all retired, they're all gone. So I hope I can still be the one to show that essence from that era. I want to be the hope for the old school fighters, end quote. Sh Satoko's current record stands at 38 wins, four losses, and two draws with an incredible 84% finish rate, 71% by submission. Impressive for someone under five feet tall and who often weighs in at 95 pounds, giving up size to her opponents. Shotoko Sanashi, Adam Waite's original princess. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of Blast from the Past. Special thanks for this edition go out to Drake Riggs, whose quote I borrowed from a recent article for MyMMANews.com. Also, thanks go out to the SureDog.com Fight Finder for statistics and the pictures used, and to Tapology.com for the statistics used in this segment. If you like this segment and have an idea on someone you would like to see in a future edition, please let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you like the video, please give it a like, and while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to WMMAC Now, the most complete women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.